Wayne Wright to me was a guy who was obsessive in what he did when he took up this challenge to produce the seven pictorial guides to the Lake and Fells. When he sat down for the task, he got on and did it, and he did it so, so well. I was inspired by the idea when I was out walking up with my wife, and I turned around and I saw a view, and I thought, this is very like a sketch that I've seen in his book. I thought to myself, it'd be quite nice to do that as a painting now, because it shows the scene as it is um, today compared to his black and white drawing. And it snowballed so that I'm now finding the reference and painting every single one of his views in all seven books. There are 214 fells in the seven books, which numbers about 1,500, just over 1,500 sketches. So the process begins with me really studying the book um, at the pictorial guide and then looking to try and locate the point where Wayne Wright stood to get each reference um, photograph that he used to draw these drawings. When I've found the rough location, location of that, I then mark it on one of my ordnance survey maps and then I can get a rough estimation of whereabouts I need to be on an adjoining fell or on the actual fell to get the scene that he drew. We've reached the top of Hallin Fell and Hallin Fell's got this fantastic beacon on it which Wainwright drew back in 1955 and he illustrated in his book. I'm able to use protruding stones like this one here at the bottom of the beacon and line it up with the background as you can see here. So that's what I do, I stand where he stood even though Wainwright was slightly taller than me, I can then measure that and, and line that up exactly to take my photograph. To me, originally, Wainwright was just the author. He was the man who produced these books. I didn't know an awful lot about him. But over a period of, of doing the, the project, I think I have come to understand him quite well as to how he worked to get his, his um, drawings done. Now, I haven't gone out intentionally to find that out about him, but it has come across because of the way I've had to do the work on the film. shown me the, the detail of the landscape in the Lake District, which um, I would never have found before. So I do have that connection with him, I think. I don't know. How, if we would have got on, it would have been interesting. I would have liked to have spoken to him and discussed with him because we would have enjoyed the fact that we both draw the fells and observe the fells in a similar manner. It would be quite hard to say what it would be like when I've put the last brush stroke on the last sketch. That would be an achievement that I'll sit down and say, wow, I will be so chuffed. At this late stage, I'm still having to go and get those last few references, which mean, means I'm going to get that scene, which almost completes the whole journey for me. I will have the connection with Wainwright because it must have been like the last day that he put the last pen to paper for the last pictorial guide. He closed that book and thought, Job done.